Giorgio Massari. Just stopped for lunch, took my sweater off. We're ready to go. I'm crossing the road, not paying attention. Hold on, there's trucks behind me. Don't want to get hit today. But I'm so excited. We're about to head to Venice. That is going to be absolutely amazing. And I can't wait. We're going to go on a gondola ride and all the things. So get ready for so many videos. I can't wait. And yeah, I'm going to get serenaded. Single and lonely. But it's fine. Hashtag self love till I die. Almost too hot it's like almost plus 30 I am dying sweating more than I've ever sweat but here in Italy I have two goals one fall in love with myself two to find an Italian boy to fall in love with as well <laughs> let's hope I can do this we have like less than a week to find me a man is it gonna happen an Italian man if you know one send my one my way okay the water don't I literally still can't believe I am in Venice. I am like freaking out right now. It's so crazy, I'm so excited. Um, today has been going pretty good so far. The best thing ever happened to me. I got serenaded while I was on a thing. My <laughs> super sweaty that's nice too <laughs> it's not expecting it to be this hot but we're just rolling with it we're rolling with it we're going with it it's so so beautiful here just walking around getting lost in venice i can't ask for any more some italian man just said ciao bella to me <laughs> I don't know if you were able to hear that last video, but I got gelato, so good. And I was really excited because someone said ciao Bella, which is just like, hello, but like, it's very, very good to hear it. It's nice, but we're gonna hydrate and eat this ice cream. And that's it, just like that. We are done Venice. Not gonna miss it that much, but I'll tell you more tips at the hotel tonight because I'm just like dead tired. All I do, wanna do is go to bed. All right, this is our hotel room. We have a huge bed, we love it. Is that a little charger? Nice. Oh my gosh, look at this huge mirror, ready? Boom, here I am. 
All right. I had a seriously big blonde moment. Let's see what the view is. Eh, average. Like the biggest blonde moment I've ever had in a long time. <laughs> and I walked, or I came to the second floor. My room's 201, and I'm like, okay, great. I've never been lost in a hotel before. You know, it's just kind of like embarrassing. <laughs> it's been a long day. And so I'm looking, I'm looking, and I go back downstairs because I'm like, I can't find my room. And I thought I looked at all the numbers. No, because I'll show you. There's like a sign that says like 202 that way. And then like 240 something like that way. So I'm like walking around. I'm like, okay, this is not going well. Found the room. Everything is fine. We have figured it out. We are good. I'm going to check this closet. All right, it's safe. No creeps. And this is the bathroom, in case you were wondering. Pretty good size, actually. Oh, there I am. Let's see what the... Oh, that's my shoe. Let's see. Oh. Huh. Ooh la la, shower. Ooh, another mirror. Ooh, another mirror. Oh, another mirror. And, oh, I love these little stands. Let's see. I can, like, get ready in the morning, put you up on my mirror and be like, Ch -ch -ch, and do the whole thing. Look at my hair. It's so frizzy here. All right. Time to get some energy, pump it through my veins, and I need to go to bed early today. Oh yeah, I have to tell you a really funny story. So we were walking to the bus. So this is two Italian men now, okay? Who's keeping track? I don't know, me. <laughs> and uh, he was like, oh, you're such a beautiful girl. You have to come into my shop. And I was like, like literally here 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 okay so i like this is like probably super fat i shouldn't have done this but i was like literally like oh thanks but i have to go <laughs> but i was like just like mm, mm, mm. sorry what leave them wanting more I'm so tired. Okay, what else? Okay, love to Venice, but I felt very rushed and I only had like four hours there. So I feel like I need more time to appreciate it. So like, I feel like I can't give like an honest judgment about like if I liked it, if I didn't like it because like it was very beautiful, so beautiful, but there's just so many tourists and I just knew I couldn't see it all, but I was trying to like, this whole trip, like we're seeing so many places and I'm just trying to see as much as I can. And it's being very hard to do that. So at some point I was like, you know what? I'm good. I saw the bridge thing. I saw a bookshop. I walked, I did the canal ride. I saw some stuff. So I just started wandering around, got some gelato, just hung out. Oh, and then I spilt it. Hold on. Cause you know, you can dress me up, but you can't take me out. Boom, strawberry gelato. Perks of the long hair, I could just go like this. No problem, but kind of sucked when I did that. It was a good thing that I was at the end of the day because I would have been pissed if I didn't get some nice photos, but most of the good photos I got from today were, I keep looking up because there's a mirror, just so you know. We're from behind the best photos. Okay, what else? Yes, yeah, so if you go to Venice, I recommend you spend like your first hour, hour and a half, like in the city, like right in the square, like get all those photos, go to the bridge, go to all the things. Cause they're all like seven, 12 walking distance. Like they're super short. So do it for like the first hour and a half. And then like, if you only have one day, right? And then go out or go back. So if the square is like right here, go this way on the map. 
or this way where there's like little towns and everything will also become way, way, way cheaper, which like, you know, we're traveling on a budget to an extent, I guess. I'm trying not to spend that much money. Like I'm not made of money. So I'm trying to, you know, save money where I can, which is always good. Yeah, I recommend doing that because these people that I met on this trip, they were like, yeah, we had the most amazing time. They like just went and had wine and bruschetta and pizza and I'm like, but that's okay because I chose not to do that. It's okay, it's okay. Anyways, and they were like, as the further they went away, the better it was, like there was no tourists, no one around, it was super amazing and they loved it. So that's what I'm gonna say. And when I even walked like pretty close to where the tourists are still, like there was kids playing soccer, it was super cute. So like, yeah, that's what I recommend. For Venice, do give yourself more than a, four hours, like a full day maybe. Like I'm talking like get up before everyone else, like start your day at like seven touring, like already in Venice. We're staying outside of Venice because uh, our bus can't go over there. Pretty cool, there's some pretty cool facts. Oh, there's a church where the singles go and then you pay for your husband or your wife. <laughs> I loved it. I didn't love it, but I was like, hmm, is this an option for me? <laughs> I know my mom would love that. <laughs> But anyways, so that's it. That's all I have. I'm going to go get some dinner and I forget what time that's at. So I probably should go down now and yeah, let's go. The bathroom's already a mess. <laughs> Sorry. Not going to lie, this morning, very rough. We had to like wake up at 6, get our bags out at 6.30, breakfast at 6.30. I wasn't even hungry. I was just like... So I stole this banana <laughs> and now we're at our first stop. We had a two hour drive. We're going to Rome, Roma, um, and A, Assisi, Assisi, I think that's how you say it. I was going to start to spell it, but I'm not even sure the spelling because it's like A-S-S-I-S-I, -I, I think. Anyway, so that's the plan. We're going there. It's going to be really, really fun. We love that. Um, but I was so tired. We drove two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes and I was trying to sleep the whole time. It was just like not a vibe. It wasn't happening. And I was just like tossing and turning and I'm, but I feel better than I did before. So I must have gotten some sort of sleep. So we're happy with that. I really want to figure out how to get down to this water and like soak my feet oh, in there's so much pollen. And like, look how green it is. I just want to soak my feet and eat my banana. Ooh. Maybe there's a path, I have no idea. It's so beautiful. I don't think there's a way down that's gonna be able to do in 30 minutes. Yeah, I don't see. That makes me so sad.